the series of papers is called Allison Factor Land. Now, the purpose of the papers is not to suggest that factor investing is bad or wrong, rather to suggest that there is a certain amount of myth building within the factor community. Firstly, there have now been over 500 factors published. How many of those factors work? How many of those factors suggest value added, suggest an opportunity for incremental return? Well, all of them. That means it's easy to add value. Just pick one or two or three or 500 of them and use them to manage your portfolios. How many of them are statistically significant? Well, over 90% of them. How many of them tested the very simple question, did this strategy add value in part because of a tailwind, because of an assist from rising relative valuations, that is to say from the factor becoming more expensive during the period that was being tested? None. In our study, we look across the performance of uh, thousands of active mutual fund managers. And what we were trying to do is to measure how much does a factor loading translate to mutual fund returns. What we found is the factor returns realized by the fund manager is far less than what factor return history would suggest, given funds factor tilt. Theoretical factor portfolios are complex. Uh, they are long short portfolios. So many investors don't have a short portfolio. They're long only. Uh, further, uh, these are long short portfolios with sometimes uneven leverage. A and uh, this leverage varies over time. Many of these theoretical paper portfolios get a significant portion of their return from shorting stocks. And if you're not allowed to short, you'll not capture that. Finally, these theoretical portfolios are ignoring a lot of complexities of the real world associated with trading. Managers with high factor loadings to market data, value, and momentum, they do not derive nearly as much the incremental return relative to low beta, growth, or contrarian funds. We found that more than half of the market premium value premium are gone. Momentum, 100% of the factor premium is gone. We think there are many reasons to explain this slippage. There are plenty of factors out there, uh, and selecting factors is hard as it is. What you should realize is that factor performance is uncertain, uh, and uh, many factors can go decades uh, with underperformance, whereas slippage coming from trading costs and other implementation concerns uh, is a lot more certain. And this slippage is actually more likely to persist in the future. So the point of this paper is when we use attribution to determine how much alpha a manager has relative to their factor loadings, we may be making a mistake. When we use factors to construct portfolios, presuming that these factors will follow through, flow through to create the portfolio returns that they deliver in paper portfolios that have no trading costs, that include long and short positions that are presumed to be easy to construct, that are presumed to have no trading costs that are presumed to have no mistrades, that are presumed to have no liquidity challenges, um, we may be making a mistake.